this video, we will describe the process required to change the default LAN IP subnet address in the router. There can be a conflict with another default IP subnet address used by another LAN setting in the router. In the example shown in this video, we will change the IP subnet settings for LAN 1 to be that used by LAN 2. So we will need to modify LAN 2 before we can make the required changes to LAN 1. This procedure applies to both the VIGA 2860 series and VIGA 2925 series routers. So let's get started. We will use the VIGA 2925 router here. We want LAN 1 to use the IP subnet 192.168.2.1. After you log into the router, go to LAN General Setup Configuration menu. You will notice that LAN 2 is already using 192.168.2.1 for its subnet, so it will cause a conflict with LAN 1. The first step before we can change the IP subnet address is to enable VLANs in the router. To do this we go to the VLAN configuration menu. Select enable option so VLANs are now active. Also assign all the LAN ports and wireless SSIDs to a LAN subnet and a VLAN. Then click OK to save. The next step is to change LAN 2 IP subnet settings. We go to LAN General Setup Configuration menu. Click on the Details tab for LAN 2. Now change LAN 2 IP address to be 192.168.20.1. We also change the IP address details for DHCP server configuration. Here we change the start IP address to be 192.168.20.10 and the gateway IP address to be 192.168.20.1. Click OK to save. The router will restart to save and activate the new settings. Our third step is to change LAN 1 IP subnet setting. We go to LAN General Setup Configuration menu. Click on the Details tab for LAN 1. Now change LAN 1 IP address to 192.168.2.1. We also change the IP address details for DHCP server configuration. Here we change the start IP address to be 192.168.2.10 and the gateway IP address to be 192.168.2.1. Click OK to save. The router will restart to save and activate the new settings. Our last step is to disable the VLAN settings we created earlier. After logging into the router, go to LAN, VLAN configuration menu. Untick the enable option and click OK to save. The router will now restart. After the router has restarted, go to the command prompt on your PC and verify that the IP address corresponds to the new LAN 1 IP subnet on the router. Thank you for watching. For more information, please go to our website www.dratech.com.au or you can send an email to sales at dratech.com.au.